Today, the Supreme Court of India has onboarded all its data on the national judicial data grid in a new era of transparency and accountability. The Supreme Court issues entry passes through a virtual platform. Almost 700 of them which are issued every day to people who visit our court. We live stream hearings of certain constitutionally significant cases and we release transcripts of oral arguments in those cases. A friend once told me, a few days back in fact, that watching one of these live hearings on YouTube was better than watching a Netflix movie on occasion. These initiatives are with a view to making the courts accessible to the common person. I dare say that some of our technology-based initiatives have surpassed those of arbitrations. I was intrigued by the clout or the case law on ancestral texts, an open access resource that contains decisions of courts and arbitral awards relating to ancestral texts. A summary of these cases is made available on the searchable cloud database. I'm sure some of you would have benefited from the immense industry that has produced this resource. Similar to the cloud resource, the e-Supreme Court resource, the e-Supreme Court reports, or the electronic version of the Supreme Court reporter provides free access in a searchable format to about 34,000 judgments of the Supreme Court of India since 1950 to lawyers as well as members of the public. All judgments are uploaded on the platform within 24 hours of pronouncement. In the interest of uniformity and harmonizing the manner in which the judiciary in India functions, we recently introduced a uniform citation system or a neutral citation system, which is now being followed across India. Like cloud, these initiatives aim to democratize access to information. The democratization of access to knowledge has helped break down monopolies based on old feudal structures. We are on the anvil of having a digital SCR in the very near future. The Supreme Court of India is launching into AI-assisted learning very shortly. Our judgments are being translated into every language which the Constitution recognizes. 9,000 of our judgments have already been translated into Hindi, and we are aiming to translate judgments using machine learning tools in all our languages to reach out to people, 